Thank you very much for clicking this video. Nowadays, Tailwind CSS is one of the most popular CSS framework and lots of people love to use Tailwind on their project. In this video, I will let you know some common mistake developers make when they use Tailwind CSS. Before dive deep into the video, I highly request you to like the video so that YouTube algorithm will know this video is helpful. So let's begin. Mistake number one, not using utility class properly. You know, Tailwind CSS is all about utility class. So you should take this advantage on your project. Suppose you want to implement something on your project but you don't know how to do that using tailwind in that case you want to use custom css but before you want to write any custom css i highly recommend you to check out tailwind documentation and search the thing what you are looking for i am sure 99 percent of them you will get a solution and you will get the utility class in tailwind so in that case, you can simply use that class. It will be great idea for you. If you have an opportunity, you should always use utility class instead of custom class. Number two, overriding utility classes. Suppose you want to create a button. In that case, you can take a class button and then inside the button, you can add background color, text and also other thing. And also if you want to add a hover effect, in that case, also you can do that with the class. But if you use Tailwind, in that case, I recommend you to use utility class. No matter what type of button you want to create, you can do it using Tailwind CSS. If you have fundamental knowledge about Tailwind CSS, in that case, creating a button is not very difficult and you can create a button using Tailwind CSS in very short time. So in that case, if you override Tailwind CSS class, it will be very difficult for you to manage your complete project. Suppose you have a big project and in the big project, you just changed a a default element CSS class. In that case, it will hamper on your project every now and then and it will be very difficult for you to manage. So I highly recommend not to overwrite any Tailwind CSS class. If you need to use any custom thing, in that case, you can take a custom CSS and then you can use. And again, as I said before, you should try to avoid this, but sometime we need to use custom CSS on our project. If you need, in that case, you can use your custom CSS but not to overwrite or not to customize Tailwind CSS class. Number three, not customizing configuration file. Definitely by default, everything comes with Tailwind is good. But suppose in your project, you want to use a custom font. So if you want to use a custom font, every now and then you need to use the font on your project, on the heading part, paragraph part, or in the button. In that case, if you customized your Tailwind with a custom font name and then thing, in that case, it will be very easy to use the font on your project every now and then. Mistake number four, using too many utilities class. I seen many developers use padding top, padding bottom, padding left, padding right in a single project. But instead of padding top, bottom, left, right, he can simply use P4 or P2. Many developers do same type of mistake in HTML tag. If you use lots of utility class, it looks very complex, also complicated if you're interested to customize anything. So if you have the opportunity to use the shortened version of any utility class, I highly recommend you to do instead of longer version. Number five, ignoring responsive design. When you want to work with Tailwind, in that case, your main priority should be mobile and then tablet and then desktop version. So if you code this way in that case, so it will easy to maintain your responsiveness. Many developers ignore this and their first approach is desktop and then tablet and then mobile like bootstrap. If you do in that case, it will be very difficult you to control. So when you want to work with Tailwind, your main approach should be mobile and then you can go bigger screen. It would be great. One pro tip I want to share and that is you can see this is a Tailwind project and here lots of class. So if you want that it should look better. In that case, I want to recommend you a VS Code extension that is inline fold. So you can go to the extension palette and here you can search inline fold. So if you do in that case, you should get this extension. And if I click in that case, you can see the extension author name. So if I click install in that case, it will install in very short time. And now if I go to my index.html file, you can see here is a three dot. Okay. And if I now click in that case, it will show complete a class, but otherwise everything will unfold. You can see if you use this extension in that case, your project will look better and also less complicated. Definitely when you will hover or click in that case, it will expand. I have a Tailwind course on Udemy with all fundamental things and also I created projects. So if you want to learn Tailwind from zero to advanced in that case, that course will be helpful for you. You will get the link in the video description. I hope this video is helpful for you. What do you think about this video? Don't forget to let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and stay safe. I am Ali Hossain signing out.